This is winter weather coverage on Wake Up Central. Right now, many Arkansans waking up to a glaze of ice coating everything outside from cars to power lines and even some roads. It all started yesterday afternoon, catching some people by surprise, and we're not done yet. We have hours of winter weather still to come. Much of the state still remains under a winter storm warning right now. We have live team coverage on what you need to know. Wake Up Central's Michael Aaron is live in Weather Force 11, checking road conditions in the metro area. And McKayla Johnson is live in Conway, where the National Guard is helping drivers in that part of the state. But we start with meteorologist Scott Covert. Scott, what are you watching right now and throughout the rest of the morning? We're continuing to see a freezing rain fall across a good portion of the natural state. You can see that activity there on radar and it looks like it's starting to taper off to the west, but don't be fooled. There is more to come. This is coming in waves. The moisture, the precipitation is this heavier wave now moving into parts of eastern Arkansas, uh, impacting a good chunk of Interstate 40 between Lone Oak and Forest City. That's often treacherous travel during the winter there on that stretch of 40. I would not be surprised if we don't start to see some issues there. If you're watching this morning in Brinkley or Clarendon, maybe even Forest City, uh, you're probably hearing quite a bit of thunder mixing in with that freezing rain. Uh, that's certainly an interesting part of this weather event to so notice back off towards the west. Mount Ida, Hot Springs, Danville, Perryville, parts of Saline County. It becomes it's pretty spotty, pretty scattered in nature, and generally that that is falling is light. It's a mist, a light rain that still is going to cause problems as soon as it meets something and it starts to freeze there at the surface. Now it looks spotty, it looks scattered, but it is going to fill back in. Of course, temperatures, that's the key factor in everything we're seeing. And just as we thought yesterday, Little Rock pretty much right on that line of freezing or above. We are sitting at freezing right now in Little Rock 31 in Stuttgart, 31 in Hot Springs. You really need temperatures 31 and below to have road issues. Now, even at 32, which is where we're at right now, uh, you do have issues in your trees, your power lines and things uh, like bridges and overpasses. So here's the good news. Unfortunately, yes, we do have to deal with freezing rain for the next several hours. The good news is by early this afternoon, we should see that thermometer start to rise, say around uh, two, three o'clock this afternoon will be above freezing enough that the rain will fall and it will stay just that it will fall as a, a cold rain and that will continue through this evening. And it is this evening when all of this starts to taper off and come to an end by around five, six o'clock this evening for parts of western Arkansas later in the night for folks in the eastern half of the state temperatures by this evening. 34 degrees. We of course still have winter storm warnings in effect. Those run through six o'clock tonight. At that point, we should start to see conditions improve until then. Don't let your guard down yet. That freezing rain will continue and it already is having impacts and we'll be discussing those over the coming moments. We continue our live team coverage, giving us a look at conditions around the area. We're going to start with Wake Up Central's Michael Aaron. He joins us in Weather Force 11, the only storm tracking truck on the road this morning. Michael, you've been driving around the metro area. How are the roads so far this morning? Well, Hayden, Amanda, the roads are wet. Thankfully, no widespread ice to report, although black ice is a concern. Let me turn the camera around, show you what we're seeing. Uh, out of our windshield here in Weather Force 11. We are on Interstate 30 eastbound, headed toward downtown from the outlet. So uh, near in Southwest Little Rock still at this point, coming up on, uh, I can't tell exactly what exit. I'll tell you in just a moment as we get closer to that sign there. Uh, it's the Chico Road exit. Sorry about that. So uh, one thing that we have seen already this morning is a flyover at the Big Rock Interchange closed. It was the I-630 westbound to I-430 southbound flyover. That was closed uh, about 20, 30 minutes ago. It's possible that that is still closed. But uh, you heard Scott mention that dangers on the elevated roadways this morning. We also saw a patch of black ice went through that ourselves. So really can't uh, urge you enough to just be cautious if you do have to get out on the roads this morning. Of course, there are a number of schools closed, businesses closed today. So authorities hope that you will stay home and let the conditions improve before you do get out and get out on the roads. Here in Weather Force 11, we are hovering right at that 32 degree mark. So again, no uh, big patches of ice on the road, although the black ice is possible. We are seeing some 
icicles coming off of the elevated street signs and that sort of thing. So, uh, so far traffic's been moving smoothly here on Interstate 30, 430, 630, the roads that we have been on this morning. Although the one thing that you can't control is the other drivers. I think it's safe to say some of the drivers around us have been going too fast and that makes me uncomfortable as a passenger and our driver as well here. So really just stay home if at all possible. That's the latest live from Weather Force 11, Michael Aaron for Wake Up Central. All right, thank you so much, Michael. Stay safe out there. Now in Faulkner County, students are staying home today. The big districts there like Greenbrier, Conway, Valonia, all using virtual learning days. Wake Up Central's Mikhail and Johnson made it to Conway overnight. Joining us live now with a look at things this morning. How is it there, Mikhail? Hey there, Amanda and Hayden. You know, driving in, I want to say we kind of had a close call ourselves going from Little Rock Mayflower now into Conway. There are ice patches along the road, so you want to be as careful as possible. But as we started making it into Conway, we saw a flipped over car that was right in Mayflower. And so as we were driving, we saw that. And it's just to show you that there are ice patches that you need to go slow. And like Michael just mentioned, we were driving and we saw other cars around us that were going a little bit too fast. So you want to proceed with caution. There are ice patches, but going into Conway, what we were seeing was a lot more slush on the side of the roads and some of the precipitation has kind of stopped right now, but it was definitely wet. And so as that temperature continues to drop, we're, we need to look out for that water to refreeze. So again, proceed with caution as you're driving out there. But I want to kind of look at what we have right now. As you can see, we are in downtown Conway right now, and you can see the slush, this ice has accumulated. It's off to the sides here. Um, the roads are pretty clear, so that is good to see. They're not covered in the in the slush. Um, but still need to proceed with caution and we want to be safe as possible and you just want to be careful. Um, it's good that people are staying home. There are people on the roadways. Um, again, we know you have to work. We know you have jobs, but if you do have to leave your house, you want to be as careful as possible. But I'll go ahead and send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you so much, McKaylin. Well, at this point, more than 100 school districts are closed or pivoting to virtual today. You can see at the bottom of your screen there, we're keeping those closings running throughout the morning. Now it includes all of the big three districts here in Pulaski County. Campuses at Little Rock, North Little Rock, and Pulaski County Special School Districts, they are all closed today. Now, quickly changing conditions on Wednesday caused many districts to make the tough call to send kids home early. An early dismissal can be a logistical nightmare. While it's out of the ordinary, Isabella Bradley with Benton Public Schools tells us they have a system for it. The first thing that we do is make sure our staff is aware so that they get that first email along with the principals and then it trickles down from there. We wanna make sure that parents, they know right away so that they can make plans. Now those school closings continue rolling in and you have three ways to get them. We can get you at the bottom of your screen, also on THV11.com and right on your phone with the THV11 mobile app. You can download it for free from the app stores right now. In it, you can find those closings, our live stream if you lose power. We have radar and much more. So far, power outages have not been widespread, but the threat remains there with more ice in the forecast. Taking a look at the current statewide map, report, providers are reporting more than 21,000 customers without power right now. We've even seen that number rise just in the last 30 minutes, uh, nearly double. Most are in north central and northeast Arkansas where ice amounts are higher. And as freezing rain becomes more of a factor, you need to be prepared for the possibility of lights out. A half an inch of freezing rain can put an additional 500 pounds on power lines. Robert L. from the Electric Cooperative of Arkansas reminds us if you see a down power line, don't approach it. Remember that water does conduct electricity, ice and snow and rain are water, by the way. So if there is a down power line, stay away from that. The electric cooperatives have all of their crews on standby and we'll talk to Rob later this half hour to get an update on outages and concerns. And also a reminder, you can get the latest forecast from the THV 11 weather team any time of day when you're away from your TV. Just text the word weather to 501-376-1111. We'll send you back a link to the latest forecast and what you need to know about impacts and timing. Well, lucky for us, we've got meteorologist Scott Covert right here answering some of those questions for you. So, Scott, let's go ahead and start. Yeah, so the one thing that folks really are asking about this morning is when did this come to an end? Here's the thing. We've got a few more hours to go before temperatures rise above freezing. Even then, they're only going to be above freezing for a few hours. Nonetheless, 
It's about one, two o'clock where we start to see that transition from a freezing rain to just a cold rain. A cold rain, it'll continue to be throughout the afternoon and evening hours, uh, but it should stop freezing there at the surface. Uh, going into the overnight hours, we should start to dry out tomorrow. The sunshine does return and unfortunately we have another chance of rain to talk about uh, for your Saturday forecast and of course uh, we'll talk about just that that's coming up here in a few moments. In addition to the weather, there's another big story this morning. Russia has launched a full scale invasion of Ukraine. Explosions have been seen and heard across the country overnight. Coming up, how world leaders are responding to it.